Hey everybody, Ron Bielefeld, Whistling Wings Photography. Another short video for you today. Canon R5. Done a couple videos regarding the Canon R5 so far. Mostly comprehensive type stuff, setup type stuff. Today I'm going to concentrate on two aspects of the camera. Uh, tracking, the ability to track fast moving subjects, birds in flight. I'm a bird photographer uh, first and foremost with the EVF, right, lag and things like that. And then also I want to talk about rolling shutter a little bit. I still hear some things online uh, that people are, are concerned about the ability to track uh, with this camera. Is there a lag in the viewfinder? Is there um, rolling shutter issues, the electronic shutter? I'm going to talk about that today, okay? Let me tell you right now that the R5 is, is becoming the best camera for stills that I've ever shot. Uh, the autofocus is just unbelievable. And I'm gonna cut right to the chase here. The tracking with the EVF, right? The lag, especially in electronic shutter, is non-existent. Hearing some things, well, you have to shoot in bursts and stuff, let the camera catch up, you catch up to the bird in flight or the, the fast action that you're shooting. I've shot bursts over 100 frames long tracking birds in flight, no problem whatsoever you can do it. Don't let anybody convince you otherwise until you get the camera in your hands and shoot it. I'm shooting with, you know, the Canon 600 f4.2, right, uh, the Mark II, with a 1.4 times teleconverter on it most of the time, 840 millimeters, right, tracking birds in flight, no problem, long bursts. Rolling shutter, okay, I shoot the electronic shutter almost exclusively, 20 frames per second, you can tone that down if you want. Go from H plus on the drive mode down to H. Go down a little bit in your in your frames per second if that's uh, too much for you. But either way, uh, the the rolling shutter on the electronic shutter is basically non-existent for everything that I've done so far. And again, I do birds in flight, so it's not like I'm doing really slow stuff where it wouldn't really come into into effect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the computer and I'm going to bring up. A, uh, a GIF, basically a motion GIF, I took a series of about over a hundred images, right, 20 frames per second of a duck, of a black-bellied whistling duck coming into land. Uh, I want to show you, I put it together in a, in a GIF, in a moving GIF, so that you can see that tracking birds with this camera, tracking fast action with this camera uh, is, is not an issue whatsoever. And then also I'm going to show you, and you can have access to uh, the actual uh, full-size images. If you look in the comments below, I'll have a link there. You can uh, get to the actual images to look at them, and you can expect them, inspect them for yourself, right? You can look for any kind of rolling shutter artifacts. I don't think you're going to find any, but I'll show you in this video as well some of the frames that I actually processed from that from that series of images that I made into a motion GIF. Just so you, again, you can you can see. Uh, you know, you can look and inspect for yourself whether there's any, any rolling shutter uh, artifacts or issues with those images. And I can tell you, uh, I've looked and, and I can't find any. So this is a pretty short video, uh, but I wanted to, to treat these two uh, issues or items uh, concerning the R5. And that way, you know, give uh, people a little more information to go on uh, from the from the perspective of someone that shoots a lot of birds in flight, a lot of action type uh, photography. So take a look at the images, take a look at the uh, GIF, and see for yourself what this camera can do. Again, very rapidly becoming the best uh, stills camera I've ever shot. And I, up to this point, you know, the, the latest camera that I had was the Canon 1DX2, you know, the flagship when it first came out. And, and that camera, of course, was no slouch, but uh, for $38.99, uh, this camera is surpassing what that camera could do for me. Okay, so the motion GIF you're about to see, like I said earlier, is 102 images or so. Uh, it was taken, of course, on the R5 with the Canon 600 f4 IS 2 with the 1.4 times teleconverter. It's electronic shutter, 20 frames per second in CRAW, and I had it, the camera set to a zone autofocus. So as you can see, I'm having no problem tracking this bird in flight at all. Uh, there's no lag in the viewfinder, so you know there's really no issues at all with the R5 as far as tracking goes. Now here's a 
some of the images that I captured uh, that I actually processed from that 102 clip uh, GIF that was just shown. And again, if you uh, go down to the comments, you'll be able to see uh, these images full size and you'll be able to um, inspect them and see that there's really no artifacts at all when it comes to um, rolling shutter, right? So the tracking uh, lag in the viewfinder is non-existent and then you've got a situation where when you really look at these images, uh, you can't see any kind of rolling, rolling shutter effect at all. So in the, in the end, um, like I said earlier, this camera is really shaping up to be uh, the best stills camera I've ever shot. So until next time, uh, stay safe and have some fun. Get out and do some shooting if you can.